our heart tool for this month of May is just a really small passage in Proverbs 10, verse 8. It says, The wise of heart will receive commandments, but a babbling fool will come to ruin. When I think about um, this passage of Scripture, and I think about all of the beautiful invitations of the Lord in His Word to follow that often we, uh, I think the enemy tries to convince us are these um, demands upon us. I really choose to see them as invitations of love because God is always about protecting us, often from ourselves, even more than the enemy. And it says, the wise of heart will receive commandments. And as I kind of kind of process that scripture, I see that both as receiving the commandments in this word, but also receiving input and wisdom and counsel and uh, maybe even correction from those that I have allowed to have that kind of input in my life. We have to be very discerning of who we allow to have that input into our life because you don't give anyone that access because not everyone deserves it or would be a good steward of it. And so wise of heart receives commandments. It receives counsel. But then it says this, but a babbling fool will come to ruin. So that's pretty easy to interpret. If we're just about running our mouths, if you will, that usually only leads to destruction. So there is so much wisdom in learning that, number one, you don't have to always say what you think. In fact, a lot of times it's a gift if we don't. Number two, you don't have to have the most room words in the room. Philly, Philly loves to say, man, she's got a lot of words or he's got a lot of words. So we, we talk about words a lot. You don't have to have the most words in the room. In fact, um, some of the wisest people I know in the middle of a group setting will be the, be the quietest because they're listening, they're learning, they're processing. And so self-awareness of our words is a very powerful tool. The Proverbs talks over and over and over about the mouth and about words. So our tool for this month, may we be people who are wise and wisdom is found in those who will receive commandments, both written and from the hearts of those who love us. And wisdom is also found in a man who realizes that the most words doesn't always win. In fact, sometimes it can cause a lot of trouble. Even if they're on Twitter or social media, you don't have to have the most words on there either. In fact, the least words, the better. So let's pay attention to that this month. I know I am. I pray that for my own life and my own heart. And I pray it for yours too.